Hey there friends, it's Steph from Squishy & Co. And today I'm going to show you one of the many ways to crochet the basket weave stitch. So grab your yarn and a hook and let's get started. I'm working with worsted weight yarn and an H hook, but as always you can use whatever you have on hand. And like I said earlier, there's a lot of different ways to set up and work the basket weave stitch. And this is just one of my favorites. I always like to say that there's no such thing as the way, only a way. So for this one, we're going to begin by chaining any multiple of eight stitches. So if you'd like to follow along, I'm going to chain 24. You can pause the video and then I will meet you at the end. Here we have our starting chain of 24. And now we're going to double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook and in each chain across. The loop on your hook does not count. One, two, three, fourth chain. Again, double crochet here and in each one to the end. Pause the video and I'll meet you there. Here we have our setup row of double crochets. Now for row two, chain two, which does count as a stitch, turn your work. Now we're going to front post double crochet around the next four stitches, and then we'll back post double crochet around the following four, and then we will repeat that pattern all the way across. So to get started, we're going to ignore this stitch here because this one counts. So front post, insert your hook around the back side of the stitch, and complete as usual. So there we have our four front posts, and now we're going to do four back posts. For the back post, you insert your hook from the back to the front and push your stitch to the back. Okay, so that is our first repeat. Now we're going to do four more front, four more back, four more front. Pause the video and I'll meet you at the end. I've just done my last front post double crochet and now we're going to double crochet into the top of our turning chain. Really important not to forget that stitch because we don't want Willy Wonka edges. So that is row two. For row three, chain two, turn your work. The chain two is always going to count as a stitch in this pattern. So take a look at what you have here. You can see that this appears to be a back post, even though it was actually a front post in the row below. But we're going to work this row the way that it appears to us. So this will be four back post, four front post, four back post, and so on. So again, we're going to ignore this because our turning chain counts. Back post. Three, and if I can find <laughs> four, and now front post. One, two, three, and four. So we're going to repeat that across. Four back, four front, four back. Okay, that's our last back post. And then again, we're going to double crochet into the top of our turning chain. And that is row three, but it's the second row of your four row repeat. 
for row four, chain two, turn your work, and now we're going to begin doing opposite of what we're seeing. So, so far we have worked the stitches the way that they appear to us, but now these are all front posts. We're going to work four back posts, four front posts, four back posts. That's what's going to give you that checkered look. Back post. There's your four back posts, and now four front posts. Oops. My hands are not cooperating today. Okay, and that's our first repeat of the fourth row. So you're gonna continue on four back, four front, four back, for however many you are working. And again, double crochet into the top of your turning chain. And that is row four. For row five, chain two, turn your work. And now we're going to go back to working what we see. So this appears to be a front post. So we work four front posts, four back posts, and so on. There's the first four. Into the second. So again, we're going to repeat that all the way across, front, back, front, to the end. Double crochet into the turning chain. And that is our first pattern repeat. So at this point, you'll repeat rows two through five until you get to the finished length. So I'm going to work a couple more repeats and then I'll show you my finished swatch. Here I have my completed swatch and it's just a little bitty one, but I just wanted to show you that it is double-sided, which is nice, and it is a little wavy. So if you block it, it's going to lay down a little more, but you're not ever going to completely get rid of that, which is part of the charm of this fabric. So since you have front posts alternated with back posts, while well, blocks of them, you wind up with a double thickness fabric, which I think is nice and cozy for a scarf or a blanket. But keep in mind, this is a little bit of a yarn eater, so you're going to need a little more yarn for this stitch than some others. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and if you have any questions or comments, please let me know below, and be sure to like and subscribe. I'm releasing new videos every Friday, and I will see you next week.